Hello again, and welcome back to Illegally Sighted. This is BGFH, and we are standing right here in uh, Minneapolis, Minnesota, checking some things out. We are in the giant, in front of the giant, giant doors of U.S. Bank Stadium, where Super Bowl, uh, what is even the number this year? <laughs> uh, where, anyway, the Super Bowl will be held this year and uh, the home of the Minnesota Vikings, of course. Got the new stadium last year. Um, I've been to it twice so far, actually. Uh, the second night it was open, went to the Metallica grand opening. Uh, well, they had a country guy f the first night, but uh, Metallica definitely broke it in the uh, next night. And we are looking at it right outside here. And um, yeah, and then I went with uh, a co-worker to Guns N' Roses earlier this summer, and that was a pretty great show too, actually. Uh, Slash was back in the group, and hell of a show, actually. Um, <clears throat> now, why am I standing in front of US Bank Stadium in this video? Uh, well, because we are, believe it or not, I mean, look at how great this is kind of an overcast day, but eh, you know, whatever. Why am I in front of this stadium? Uh, because we are looking at a very, very cool Oculus app. It's available on the Vive too, <laughs> but we are looking at Google Earth VR. Check this out. <sighs> Boom, now we are back looking around there is, <clears throat> I'm just kind of looking around downtown Minneapolis from up above. And what's really cool about this, um, there are some accessibility issues uh, for low vision. However, I can kind of fuddle my way through it enough to really make this work. And believe me, like if you want to show someone that is going to, if you want to show something to somebody that is going to really impress <laughs> them in VR, this is kind of awesome. So you see my left hand pinging here. I have my touch controllers, but if I whoosh, now we're in something to, okay, oh, weird, oh, weird. Okay, we're in a totally different ping area now, maybe because I turned enough, but okay, that's kind of interesting. I remember that. But yeah, you look up there. I'm trying to remember where I was, uh, I'm trying to remember, if only there was like an internal view. Let's see, so we got that. Um, so I, I can basically look around and see kind of a preview of what I'm gonna be going into, but then zoom, I can zoom out. And all I'm doing is taking my left touch controller and, and I am uh, putting it toward my face, so whoosh. Basically what I'm doing is I'm going from like a Google Earth kind of an overhead view into actual street view. Now the one thing that I wish I could do so badly, <clears throat> I wish like right now I can, if I have to keep holding it up to my face or kind of keep, keep holding it close to me to stay in this street view. However, I wish that there was a way to lock it into street view and just like you can kind of push and pull and whatever with the arrow keys on the keyboard if you're using like because I've played with Google Earth on the browser and that was pretty cool by itself however to be able to do that in VR to stay at this street level and just pew, zoom down a street walk through an you know an old neighborhood that you wanted you know that you used to live or something or you know maybe you are visually impaired and you want to get the lay of the land before you get somewhere and you like I said just being able to look I mean the scale, I, I feel, I mean, I'm a little bit higher than actual street level. Like I'm probably, if I had to guess, maybe like 10 feet tall instead of, you know, like almost six feet tall. But I mean, this is incredible. It looks freaking cool. It looks awesome. So I pull this away. So I have my, both of my touch controllers here and <clears throat> I think before we go anywhere else, and I'll show you more of uh, the world here. No, I want to go to a different thing. So I can take my, basically each hand does its own kind of a thing. So at any time I can hit the like X or B buttons 
and I can bring up like here's a list of kind of recommended areas to get you started or I can search at the bottom which we won't do right now um, but I can do that um, and then I can use my like my right trigger or the uh, the trigger or the grip button I'm gonna use my trigger and I can just pull it around so we are gonna wander around Minneapolis a little bit okay where are we at now so you know I wish I could read that a little bit better like I almost wish there was like text-to-speech support so that as I pop open one of these bubbles and bring it close like this it would tell me oh that's what this address is or this landmark is because I just can't quite read it but again now look at where downtown Minneapolis we are in the middle of some street we got some uh, red car there a couple cars big building I mean it's just beautiful blue sky you can tell that you know each one of these screenshots or these uh, little points are taken at a different you know at different times because uh, you know we got that cloudy one by the stadium but now we're looking at this just clear blue sky speaking of clear blue sky and we pop out to the map here check this out so I am God what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the sky and I'm gonna go now it's nighttime. Welcome to Minneapolis at night. I can control the sun. I can make it whatever time of day I want. Maybe I want sunrise or sunset. There's something oddly satisfying about this. Look at that. In real time, that's effing cool. I don't care what anyone says. Bright daylight. We're going to go some early morning uh, whatever and we're gonna uh, I'm gonna pan over a little bit here look at some other big buildings see if I can recognize okay let's go see what this is <clears throat> showing you a little bit of the downtown cityscape of Minneapolis and I could and like I said I could if I wanted to I could just swipe my way oh yeah okay there they see there we go big old stadium right over there and it's yeah like last night I was playing with this, trying to get ready. I'm going to show this uh, to uh, a friend of mine later this afternoon. So I was trying to remember how to use it, Google Earth. And then I was play I got, I got hooked into it last night, trying to figure it out. And I looked exactly where my apartment is, like the intersection where I catch the bus and get off every day. And looked at my apartment in Google Earth VR. And it was kind of cool just to be like, oh yeah, I can go there. Um, I didn't, you know, I don't want to show obviously exactly where I live, but you know, I'll show you my little bit of the home or not hometown, but, uh, you know, my local team that sadly had a bit of troubles yesterday as I'm recording this, uh, we just lost to the lions. Not very, ooh, that was not a very good game. Uh, hope, I hope our running back is okay. God damn it. Cause I, I love our running back. Um, but Anyway, you know, like I said, here we go. We got our stuff looking around. And it's just, like I said, it's instant. But what I can do, you know, we're in Minneapolis right now. If I wanted to, I could keep scrolling or zooming out. And then, you know, we could march our way right over to St. Paul. All in real time. No loading time whatsoever. There's like initial an initial load, you know, to get into the earth. But once you do, and once you see what else I can do with this, I mean, it's incredible. Incredible. Um, you know, I've played with Google Earth and a little bit of Street View on the web, but this is like just beyond awesome. Uh, okay, we're back here again. So let's uh, cruise around a little bit. Now, what I can do with my right analog stick, if I point my controller down at the ground, this is as low as I can get. But if I if I hit down or not, you know, kind of aim downward on my analog stick. Like I'm pulling back. Now we're zooming up, taking a. And there's our search point that I searched for. It wasn't exactly right, but. Um, so that's how I found the US Bank Stadium. And now, again, since I'm further out, I can take this and go. Okay, let's go over. Oh, this looks like a major thing over here. Major roads. So let's zoom on in there. Okay, big old underpass here. 
Nothing too much scenic here, just some trees and roads, but... So like I said, there's just whatever is around, if there's a little hot point for street view, I can check it out. So we got some interstate here. I'm guessing that's probably some sort of 94-esque thing, or all these interstates confuse me. I don't drive, so. But like I said, I can go around here, go up into North Minneapolis with a hood, you know? You gotta wear, you gotta basically be armed to the teeth and have Kevlar, because North Minneapolis is kind of not very good in some areas, but we're looking around. I don't know if we're in North Minneapolis, probably not, but yeah, okay, so we're looking at that. Uh, let's see, what else looks interesting? Let's follow... I kind of want to follow like a row. Okay, let's see where we are here. Okay. Oh yeah, there's our bus. Uh, actually, that doesn't look like a city bus. That looks like a... I mean, it's a bus, but I don't know if that's like a tour bus. Oops. I don't know if that's a tour bus or something. Because it looks kind of different. Um, Metro Transit here. Okay, so let's pop out of there. And again, like I said, I can get as... That's about as close as it'll let me get. Uh, let's go cruising this way some more, because... Why the heck not? But yeah, so... Looks like a parking ramp or something. And... <clears throat> not quite sure where we are, but hey. A little more... You can see the skyline and everything. Yeah. Not too shabby. So let's zoom out a little bit here. Let's go up. And let's... Uh, head way over here for a while. And I can even take my... I got the grid there too, but I want to go like the I like this way a little better. And let's zoom in and see where we are. Maybe we can get some residential. Oh, okay. What do we got here? Oh, okay. A bunch of... Oh, it's a little path. What are we in a park? Or... Huh, wow. Okay. Uh... Bunch of rocks and huh, okay, interesting place that we landed ourselves in. Okay, what do we got here? We got a major road. I'm kind of getting disoriented, like what's north and south and whatever. But all right, so we're getting a little more tree wooded. Yeah, residential areas here. Look, just looking around. Okay. So that's Minneapolis. Now, what I can also do is I can hit A. And now it shifts over to, instead of like a pseudo, like isometric thing, I have all the... Now, this is where I wish I could point and have things read aloud or some way of me being able to access this because like I said uh, I mean look at this I'm staring flat down there's the giant earth and I'm looking at the atmosphere up there but we look at all these there's all these little pinpoints on the map and again I can pan around um let's say that we're gonna go about right here okay and then let's zoom in and where are we Ooh. okay out in the boonies got it okay very cool pop out of there let's head back to our overhead view now if I Look at that. I zoomed way the hell out. Boom, there's the Earth. We are in cyber outer space. And we are looking at the Earth and I can spin it. And let's say that I want to go to that snowy area there. Probably no man's land, but we're gonna. 
Whoa. I see a lot of white. <laughs> okay, there's nothing here, so it won't... Oh, wait, okay, it did let me... Yeah. We're, what, in the North Pole or something up here? Again? Yeah. Oh, because we're up there, we can't really do much with day, because it's probably... Oh, cool. So it even honors, like, how the day-night works. Like, it kind of, kind of, sort of gets dark, but not really. And then, wah, I'm conducting time. <laughs> it's just really fun. Like, there's just something oddly relaxing and fun about, oops, about this. So let's pop over here. Let's zoom out a bit, and we'll go to a random... Let's back out here. Okay, we're gonna spin the globe. Hey, where are you going? Okay, uh... Oh, you look like there's a bunch of stuff in here. Let's, uh... I'm not quite sure where we are, just because of the... We're just gonna zoom into wherever here. Whoa, dude. All right, we're gonna switch to this view here. And we are at night. And I, and now what I can also do is I can just kind of glide. So let me get as close as I can. And now I can only go forward and backward if I go like this. But I can't go sideways, so I actually have to take the trigger and go like this. Uh, I wish I could do have control over everything okay so or every direction uh let's go because i thought there was a bunch of stuff here oh here we go there's some stuff over here let's zoom in over here and see what we got okay nope still just got a globe we're probably in again no man's land here i don't know where the hell we are like i said and, you, and if you can see you you can find out right away but you know, we're just exploring some random part of the globe, because why not? Uh, let's back out. Like this. Whee! Okay, uh... How about... Okay, there's a bunch more stuff over here. Uh, but again, I can't read any of it, so... It's probably just going to be more stuff we can't, because you're only, you know, you're not going to be able to do street view everywhere. You know, it's going to be limited to like bigger cities. So even if you live in like, you know, Booneyville town, like where I grew up, you're probably not going to find. Uh, oh, here we go. We got a bunch of stuff over here. This looks promising. Uh, but if you, you know, you grew up in some tiny little town. I'm not sure how much. Oops, no, not the wrong button. Let's do this. Man, I still can't. I've landed myself in no man's land, you guys. Yeah, no street view around here. All right, so let's get out of here. Let's go. Let's do one of their presets here and see if we can figure out where we are. So I can go jump to one of these random ones here <clears throat> okay now we have street view look at this looking around looking for some landmarks let's uh pan around a little bit here this looks like a pretty tall structure oh yeah check that out wonder if i can get on top of the tower Okay, we just got a bunch of trees. I was hoping I'd get a good view of... Uh, let me see, let me... I wanna see if I can get on top of it somehow. Oh, maybe? Yes. Dude, look at how big that thing is. Holy hell. Oh man. Look at that tower, I'm at the base. So you can, you know, you want to look up, uh, you know, and again, you could search for the address. So if I wanted to look up, let's say, um, 
what is it, 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue, let's say, if I wanted to look up where the, the White House is, or if I wanted to look up, you know, any kind of landmark, I could be like, you know, let's look up the address for it and search for it. And odds are, it's, as I said, especially if it's somewhere fairly, you know, and it doesn't have to be in the U.S. Like, I want to go virtually tour, you know, the Eiffel Tower here, or if I want to do the, uh, you know, maybe I want to see Mount, I don't know if Mount Rushmore... Uh, or if I wanted to go see, you know, like some castles in England or, um, you know, any kind of anywhere that you would want. So again, I can zoom in here. I feel, oh man, I feel like I could just grab this building here and like pick it up and like fling it. <laughs> like again, I totally contend there needs to be a type of uh, like Hulk, Godzilla monster thing where I can like just freely walk around a city like this and like just play like in a sandbox especially if that was integrated in with like google earth and i could be like i am in a city i'm going to grab this tower and i'm gonna fling it and maybe there's dudes out there that i can fight like that'd be fun how cool would that be all right so let's uh where are we now all right a little narrow <clears throat> narrow street here Okay, let's uh, pan around a little bit. What do we got? But yeah, I mean, like I said, especially if there's like a specific area either that you've been or that you want to go to. This is a really, really cool way to do it. Yeah, look at this. This is something else, you guys. Google Earth VR. It's on the. It originally came to the Vive, and I saw a demo of it on a like a giant bomb video. And then I'm like, oh man, this has got to work with the Rift, and it didn't right away. There was some hack you could get to try to get it to work, but I never did. And then eventually, it came out to uh, to the Oculus Store, and hell yeah, I was already there. Um, looked at it a while ago. I was going to record, and I just never got around to it, but. They said, now that I'm going to show it to a friend of mine, a co-worker of mine, uh, later today, I wanted to figure out how, to, how it works again. And it's... I fell in love with it all over again. I'm like, God, this is sweet. So, you know, like... Let's go to another place here. Um... But, you know, you it's just a really relaxing, fun thing to do. What do we got here? Whoa, how you doing? Uh, oh, wow. Yeah, let's look at this. Okay, we got people stand... Sometimes it kind of, like, it glitches out a little bit and, like, the real thing will come back. But, yeah, we got a bunch of people here... Wow, kind of cool. All right, so yeah, I mean, look at this. I can lean in and kind of look at the architecture a little bit. Let's, uh, oh, I'm, where the hell am I in my room? I think I'm, okay, wow. Yeah, can I, oh, okay. I mean, there's not a whole lot else to say. Um, you know, I mean, it's it takes a little bit of getting used to, uh, you know, getting around the controls and stuff like that. But when you do, I mean, I can just sit here in my office chair and ooh, let's go over by the lake here, by the water. Bunch of trees. Yeah. You know, it's just fun to kind of look around at different parts of the world. You know, I mean, you could never see everything. I mean, it's the world, for Crimey's sake. You know, you just load in one day, pop down to a random area of the planet, and explore, you know? Uh, very, just, you got this peaceful, calming music in the background. It, you know, it doesn't seem repetitive. I mean, I've, I've heard it there the whole time. But it almost just, it fades into the background. Like, I don't even know 
or I don't even really realize it's there other than, yeah, just calming background music and, um, yeah, it's just, this is super fun to play with. Look at all the, look at the parking lot, yay! I'm gonna pick you cars up and I'm gonna, huh, hey buddy, yeah. Yeah, this is very, very cool. Uh, let's see, oh yeah, we're gonna go up to the lake, right? Or the whatever here. Let's see if we can get a, let's see if I can get an end on a good lake shot, you know? Good water view. Uh, oh wait, how did I, wait, what? Oh, oh weird, okay. Uh, let me see if I can... I'm getting all kinds of stuff around me, but I'm not getting exactly the view that I... Well... Yeah, see, when I turn... I th oh, you know why? Because the way that I'm facing right now, I'm actually turning around, and this is where th the lack of 360... It can't sense my controller, so it doesn't know that's why it's happening. I'm getting all turned around in my room. Um. Oh, dizzy. Um. Let's see, where are we here? Um. The only thing I, I, like I said, if I could, if I could rotate, that's what I'm not sure. Can I? I mean, I can pan, but I wish I could like reorient, like spin around a little bit. So I could, so I could always be aiming forward, but get the direction that I want. I'm not entirely sure how to do that. Um, nevertheless, even though, even so, this overhead view. It, oh, here we go. Here we go. I was gonna say, nevertheless, this overhead view is pretty good, but this is even better. Right down here on the little island, or what the hell am I on here? Huh. Okay, but uh, yeah, we got some buildings back there, and we're looking out over the water. I wish I could adjust the sun in this too, but I suppose it's just, you know, flat pictures that are, you know, like a th uh, 360 photo, so I can't manipulate it that way like I can the actual kind of live overhead grid view, but... <clears throat> That is Google Earth VR. Um, really interesting, really fun to play with. Um, you know, just for looking around and, you know, like, oh, I remember living here, or, you know, could be really useful for virtually exploring a space you haven't been to. Um, all kinds of different things. Actually, the one thing I didn't show you uh, let me do that real quick. I'll show you what the search thing looks like. So I bring this up and then I can click on the bottom here and I get the search. So I just point my touch controller and I can kind of see which letters are glowy. So like if I want to type in an address, da 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 da, type in like a landmark, like I just put in like US Bank Stadium. Um, it's a little hard to see, but what I find is if I back up far enough in my chair here and then I pull up the interface and bring up the search I can still get pretty close so I can lean way in and then I have a better chance to be accurate with my keyboard it's not the most elegant and since this is a PC program I know you're kind of expected to be far away from you know further away from your computer but I wish they did support direct keyboard entry like if I could just move right up to my keyboard and physically type in that even would be a huge accessibility boost for me because it wouldn't be so tedious to try to type in an address or something like that but uh yeah i mean there are just little usability things like i can, I can easily go to a random place or i can search and kind of find my way but like you know all the little tool tips when i'm zooming in and out of the earth and seeing where i am 
I'm not able to, you know, I'm not able to read that, so I don't get the full benefit of, oh, I'd like to zoom in on this exact thing, or I didn't even think about looking at that landmark, or things like that. Um, you know, the keyboard is doable, but, you know, again, I wish for the physical keyboard would be nice. Um, and then just being able to, again, seeing a lot of the user interface, you know, I just, it's hard to see some of that stuff. So as a low vision user, it's, it's usable, but you have to tinker around with it a little bit and you, it may be a little bit more difficult to, for you to pinpoint exactly what you want on the fly, like a, a sighted person can. And finally, you know, again, I, I said at the beginning of the video, I would love to, you know, like, even if it kind of, you know, fades in and out and goes to one, from one scene to another like it does on the website, I want the ability to lock myself into this street view and then just hit forward, back, left or right on my joysticks, on my touch controllers, so that I could stay at um, street level and explore an area like in this view like when I was on the website you know Google Street View I was looking around my neighborhood and I was literally cruising down the street that I live on I'm just hitting forward 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 and it would just you know snap a few feet in front of me to a different screenshot each time and I wish I was able to do that in VR but to the best of my knowledge I don't think you can I think you just have to go out and then you know pull yourself or move and then do whatever other little screenshot thingy comes up. But that is Google Earth VR, available on the Rift and the Vive. Very, very cool apps. Um, very fun, very informative, could be educational, could just be a great way for people to, you know, reminisce. It's a great, this is a great first like a way to realistically show somebody like to blow their mind in VR and of course you can do things like this no come on oh come on really I wanted to do sun goes up sun goes down <laughs> why can't I do that here I mean you're no fun you're breaking my uh, flow here game or experience huh. why aren't you letting me there we go. Sun goes up, sun goes down. Sun goes up, sun goes down. There we go. Uh, okay, on that foolishness, uh, ending on that foolishness. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, follow me on Twitter at BGFH79. Join the old Steam group, Illegally Cited. I gotta check into that myself, see if anyone has actually joined and posted anything. But... Um, you know, join that. Love to see people um, follow me there as well. Um, Twitter, YouTube, and Steam. Um, but yeah, you know, thanks again to everyone who has subscribed and liked the videos and comment, commented. I've gotten quite a few really nice comments from people, uh, a few questions and requests. So yeah, you know, keep them coming and hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is really, really cool. I'm infatuated with it right now um and uh until next time i will talk to you guys again later